Yo, how's it going, everybody? How was your week? I'm back again with more of the tenants. Now, uh, between the last episode and now, I've uh, gained us a little money. 23,000 to be exact. 23,510 if you want to be exact. Um, so we're going to use this to renovate this uh, apartment. And, uh, hopefully the same builds that I've done in all my test plays back in the day will still work, but we'll find out. But real quick, there's some new boxes right here. So let's click on that. Landlord briefcase. And what's this? The little, oh, okay, that's more just landlord points. Got it. All right, so we got that up and running. So let's start and just jump right in. So. What do I gotta do? Oh yeah, I gotta configure the heating. So I know the one I need heating here. Here, um, along this wall, here, and another one right here between the windows. All right, done. Done, done deal. Okay. Here we go. I've got a surprise for you, but first, we need to clean this place up. Send me in, and let's get started right away. All right. You know the drill. Yes, sir. Player storage unlocked. Thank you. That's right. I've managed to track down a nice little storage area for your scavenging hunts. Do you know how many folks are okay with you throwing away their broken furniture? Well, now you can try to fix it instead and store it in your stash for later use. 100% repair chance. Sounds good to me. Plus, plus, some of the stuff you can find there is quite special. Be on the lookout for the so-called unique. Plus, some of the stuff you can find there is quite special. Be on the lookout for the so-called unique items. Plus, some of the stuff you can find there is quite special. Be on the lookout for the so-called unique item. Plus, some of the stuff you can find there is quite special. I think Uncle Steve's having a called unique. Plus, some of the stuff you can find there is quite special. Be on the lookout for the so-called unique items and make sure you don't waste them on some fool's rundown studio apartment. Anyway, let's wrap this up. So, aka, if you send Uncle Steve to do another task, he'll have a brain aneurysm. He goes crazy. Rebottling tools have been unlocked. Yay. As you can see, you've unlocked a new renovation. That was nice. But let's see if you can build walls as good as you can tear them down. Not bad. Now on to the doors. They can only be placed in an already existing inner wall. Try and see if you can do it. Okay, okay, not bad. But did you know that you can also edit windows in your properties? Go ahead and build a new window. Those can only be placed on the exterior walls. We'll put a second window in the bedroom. This is gonna be the bedroom eventually. Lastly, the demolish button can be used to tear down walls and remove windows. Switch to demolish and select a window that you want to get rid of. Mm, maybe that one. It looks like you've learned the basics by now. It's time to meet all the requirements on the list. Remember, the better the interior design, the wealthier tenants will want to live in your units. I'll leave you to do your thing. You're the boss after all. Thanks, Uncle Steve. So we need to move this thing out of the way. Move it over here. So, let me see. How big are the beds do we have? I need to make these basic. Because the first person is usually a basic person. So. Yeah, we can't make that big of a bed. Maybe a single? There we go. So I want to make these rooms like smaller and tidy. So let's build a wall here. Here, that's a kitchen. Uh, 
There we go. So these will be just how everything's gonna be spread along. Oh yeah, we need a door to the bedroom. There we go. All right. Time for furniture. We need everything set up to basic. So let's do the bedroom first. Um, let's do some. I want cement. Just do some carpet, Memphis carpet, I guess. Walls. There we go. That furniture, bedroom. Um, so let's put a dresser with a mirror along here against the wall. Nightstand in the corner right here. We're gonna put an alarm clock right there. Cause you need your alarm clock. Um, we have a clock. Let's see if clocks are still powerful. We're gonna put a clock right there against the wall right here in case you don't see it. So Mario. Where are the blinds at? Do I have to reset it to get the blinds? I do. But these are basics. Oh, basic blinds. There we go. these gray and uh, if, you, if you're wondering how everything's set if you hit hold alt it'll tell you to set up the room so we got the very basic room right now which is good because uh, I think the first customer is a generally a basic customer so we want everything to be as basic as possible okay next we need a living room let's put this TV stand right there in the middle with this basic vintage television. I'll give you a nice little stereo system back here. If you know, if, oh, it's not gonna let me do that, all right. We'll just put these uh, on the TV then. Nice little TV stand set up. You guys need a nice little couch to sit down on. There we go. Uh, let's reset this, get some game consoles going on there. Guess we can get some contemporary video game consoles. Yeah, hey, contemporary DVD player. And console. Back to basic. Do we have any wall shelves? We do. I'll put a wall shelf right there. That's where the DVDs and the games will go. Which one's this? Yeah. All right. That's nice and clean. We need a uh, our blinds again. <laughs> Somehow clipping right through the <laughs> my systems. Cause that's how it works, right? It's just how it works. Let's go with a, a nice oak floor here. And brown? Nah, nah. 
Yeah, blends in with the couch. This is gonna be the ugliest design room ever, but it does not matter. Okay. What other furniture can I add in here? Hmm. Let's put a coat rack. Actually, we have another coat rack. I don't like that one. There's a wall coat rack right there. We'll put it like right here. Put a two right there. This room needs a clock as well. Cool. Nice little painting there. We want to get painting back here. Get a hero painting. There we go. Mm, nice big rug right here. Okay. That's how that gets us a nice little room set up right there. Hmm. Anything else I want to add in here? Any other living room things we can add? Small details, lights. Yeah, we can add some lamps on both sides of the room. There we go. And we got the sound system. We got everything. I'd say that's a good living room. Let's move to the bathroom. Now I ain't gonna give him the basic shower cabinet. This is where it's gonna be slightly a little better. Um, so we're gonna get a contemporary shower cabin because I'm not sad. We're not savages. We're not savages. Now we can go basic on everything else though. Like the basic toilet. Uh, wash dryer. I fit the sink right there. Oh man. Let's put this over a little. Uh, okay. This ain't gonna need water anyway. So. Actually, can I just fit this here? I can. But I want more prestige. <laughs> there we go. You want some water? You can have some water. Done. Then floors, a good porcelain stoneware, walls, go with a dim blue, that's fine. Okay. Furniture, bathroom furniture. Let's get some shower stuff right here. Toilet paper's right there against the wall. You're gonna have to just reach around. Mm. Want a folded up drying rack, some tissues, oh, a little laundry bin right there, heated shower rack. Okay, we need a mirror. I'd say that's nice and clean. And is that still, yeah, basic, 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 okay. I gonna get a nice little computer lab in here with this basic desk. Mm, maybe we'll give him a window. A uh, window sounds good. Give a nice little window right there. Lines on there too. All right, a computer lab. You're gonna have to have a laptop. I'm not gonna hit you with some ugly thing that you'll you'll hate for your entire life. Mm, get you some notebooks. Nice little binder. Okay.
Now we need some floors. We'll go with a linoleum floor in this room. Actually, no, we'll go with the carpet walls. Mm. We'll go deep, deep blue in here too. This, this whole house is going to be lots of blue. You know what? Well, this will be the paint job in every room. <laughs> Floors. Um, when you walk in, let's give it the same little hardwood floor. It's walking through here. The kitchen. Kitchen gets linoleum. Okay, so we got a nice little setup here and here. Uh, furniture. Um, let's get a nice little light here. Get you a, a light on both, like right there, and another one right there. There we go. It looks like it's hanging off the mirror. Nice, nice. What are you, umbrella rack? Yeah, we will add you right there under the coat racks. We'll put a doormat right there, just for something to step out of with the shower. As <laughs> if there's no other rack. Okay. And a nice little rug right in this corner. There we go. So, got that. This is just the main area. Okay, to the kitchen we go. We got a nice little ice fridge right here. Kitchen corner, kitchen corner, kitchen corner. Oh, nice cocoa sink right here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't think it would like that, but it didn't hurt to try. Get a nice little cocoa corner. Right there. Um, the stove right here. Actually, color variant. Is there a black variant? Oh, uh, close enough. Color variant. I'm gonna just change these colors. There we go. And then this one. There. Oh, kitchen thing. I'm gonna get you a nice little wall shelf in a second. Okay. Uh, coffee maker. <laughs> Can I fit a table for you to sit on? Have some booze right there. That sounds good. Get a nice little assortment of drinks up here. No, I need a small table. Oh, geez, all these tables are huge. Okay, it looks like they don't, they're not going to get a dining room. They'll get all this, though. So basic, 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 basic. Generally, all basic stuff. Time to leave this. Looks like the remodeling affected our utility setup. Before renting out the unit, we need heating vents installed. Open the Apartments Upgrades tab. Dive well, the only thing left is installing the vents in rooms with no heating. Once we're done with that, we can find our first tenant and start earning some income. Really gotta put there you go. Can I even fit in any of these walls? You know what? I have an answer for this.
<laughs> we'll demolish this wall right here. Done. And then we'll move the umbrella rack right there. Done. Okay. So that fixes the heating, right? Yes, heating's fixed. We're still gonna have to do some more upgrades though. Upgrades. Small appliances, yay. Nice. New phone element. Yes, okay. Um gotta upgrade more stuff. So heating's done. Electrical's done. Let's uh install TV service for the TV. I wanna make sure everybody's like set to go. I just 3x this install, yay. Alright, install interwebs. Install a security system. Okay, and I'm gonna have to configure here the security system. Okay, so we need 75% coverage. Uh, let's put it this way, so it doesn't look at the bathroom. Uh, actually, yeah. Put it here, so it just, no, I don't like that. So we'll put it here in the computer room. Good job. Now let's head to the exit. Install that. Cover there. Cover there. And security in the bedroom. At this point, the bathroom is the only private room in the building. <laughs> there we go. Exit, renovate. So now we have. Yes. Uh, we have everything we need here, right? Yeah, room two, office, kitchen, bedroom, living room, bathroom. All right, yep. So let's exit, leave again. Looks like you've got the place ready to go. Let's go I'm not ready. I'm not ready, Uncle Steve. And start it right so we're going to get this place 6G internet, in 10 flicks, earthquake insurance. And sure, we can give him cleaning service too. There we go. All right. Now we're ready for open house, Uncle Steve. Whole apartment. Start the event. It looks like we got our first potential tenant. How exciting. Let's click on her and try to make a good deal. Keep in mind that the better the first impression your property makes, the more your tenants will be willing to pay for it. Well, I want to see how much she likes this place first. Because the better they like it, the more likely they'll say yay. So far, it's just good. So this person likes contemporary, modern stuff. Usually they give you a basic person, but this is the first time they gave a contemporary. That's fine. I'll make sure that they see how much they like this place first. So far, she's not liking it one bit. Let's see, she's checking the bedroom. She's checking the next You're a gamer. I know you're gonna like some of this stuff. So far, she just thinks it's good. I don't think we're gonna get any better than good, but you know what? I'll let that check. All right, so one thing that we need to find out is, or you guys need to know is, do not max this out because the game will literally cheap you out. So if you put it out like maybe 90% and put your offer, it's generally going to be better. Let's make our first offer, 5,600. All right, so we'll bump this down to 5,250. Push that up. Oh, 3290. 
All right, let's drop this down to an even 5,000. Okay, so they're, they're at 3760. So let's drop this down to another 250. Make another offer. I think that's the $4,000 a month. I'll take it. That's 2920 profit. Good job. We've got our first tenant. I hope she'll like the place you've designed. All right, while we're waiting on this, uh, let's uh, actually look at their skill tree because I haven't actually updated our skill trees. Hey, I got bleach contracts. Uh, so, yeah, so unlock this for two month lease. I hear medium research, um, medium. Okay, so let's do another four month because, you know, these leases are better. We got three points. Let's get a shelf. Okay, so let's just gifts. Actually, don't I have to eventually go down this tree? Yeah, so let's get medium marketing because eventually we'll have to go down here anyway. Uncle Steve, I need to make you a little better, old man. Okay. So we got our first tenant up and running. She's out for food. Let's check her messaging. I want to inform you, welcome, uh, I want to, I'm pleased to welcome a new landlord to our town. As you know, we have a bit of an immigration crisis uh, at the moment. So to inspire the folks to move back in, the city will pay extra for each tenant you sign. As we deal with the crisis, these bonuses will change with time. So don't get used to them too much. <laughs> I just want to inform you of our current bonus occupation of bloggers and illusionists. Good day, good day. How you doing, Cindy? Alrighty. So Cindy's not here yet, so. We'll go ahead and deal with this roach infestation once Cindy returns home and actually calls us. If she comes home. Cindy, we need you home ASAP. Cause I can't deal with these roaches until you t you come back home and go, oh my God, there's roaches, boss. Ah, oh, there you are. Your tenant needs your help. It seems that something has happened in their apartment. Check darn. That yeah. looks pretty serious. Yeah, in yeah, situations yeah. Situations like this, you'll often have a few ways of dealing with the problem. I suggest solving the issue with my help to strengthen your relationship with the tenant. I'm in the apartment, awaiting your orders. I reckon we should eliminate all those nasty bugs with a hefty dose of the anti-bug spray. It's working. Let's get rid of the rest of them. Come on, where are you guys? Now, that's what I call a job well done. Let's exit the apartment. The tenant should be thankful we helped them. I bet. All right. Babysitting jobs have been unlocked. And that's how I'm going to get my points for later. All right. So we got that. She's gone to work. Um. So it looks like I can't set up my thing for continuous for stills, that's fine. Um, what we got here? Thanks for helping me solve the problem. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, delete all. What jobs we have? We have a new babysitting job. All right, so I think we'll uh, call it a sesh with this one. We're uh, doing great, we got our first tenant. Uh, pretty soon we'll have to start paying rent, but that's fine. We made uh, good money for our first tenant. So uh, as always, remember to leave a like, leave a comment on what you think of the series, uh, things that uh, maybe I should look into, or things you're seeing that I should change. But as always, you guys have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one.